Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm the guy who took the easy one. <laughs> so, I didn't feel like coming here today because I'm sad. Like, oh, oh, oh fuck oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm feeling weird. Like, although seriously though, the guy at like, uh, Disorders Incorporated, who named Seasonal Affective Disorder, like, had to have gotten a promotion, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's an acronym that spells SAD. <laughs> because it's a disorder where you get sad when it rains a lot, like... <laughs> I love that if it hits above 90 degrees, Bill becomes a southern bell. <laughs> lonely, lonely. <laughs> Always watch for Bill. <laughs> Guaranteed it's gonna happen. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was sad. But having, like... I've been, like, afraid that I have anxiety and depression, but I haven't gone to the doctor because I get, like, real worked up, worried that I'm right, and I get too sad to leave the house. <laughs> I sat down. I, 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 hmm. I've developed a stress stutter. That's not a joke. That's a real thing that's happening in my life. But fortunately, I don't speak in stressful situations a lot, <laughs> so it probably won't affect me. <laughs> I sat down to write jokes for the first time in my life today. And I just like you, I was standing in the shower to write jokes. <laughs> and I stood in the shower for 20 minutes, and here are the two jokes I wrote. When does thinking about suicide become thoughts of suicide? <laughs> and I have a handgun in my house because I'm afraid of home invasion. I don't know where the keys are because of that first joke. <laughs> house is like hiring a guy to ask how your hair is every morning. <laughs> but sometimes you get out of the shower and that guy goes, hey, you're fat, your dick looks weird. <laughs> I don't know why I hired that guy to be in my room. <laughs> I've noticed a change in how I look at porn. <laughs> I've developed, like, a real issue with certain sounds. And, like, some porn. But voice cracking isn't the joke, that's just my life. <laughs> that's me taking this seriously. I came here today because I wasn't going to let the thoughts of suicide keep me at home. And some porn... When you close your eyes, it sounds like a St. Bernard eating a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> and like, as I've grown up and become like more aware of other humans, like there's just something that like I can't get into porn when one of the hashtags is crying. <laughs>
fuck? The older I get, the less appealing barely legal teens are. What? Who is that for? I want my porn to be in, to be barely legal. <laughs> Watch list. <laughs> I want to be on a keep an eye on list. <laughs> like, I don't want to have to go door to door telling people my name, but I want to have the speech written. <laughs> Tattoos, piercings, I can throw in a visor, get a six pack of Mike's Hard Lemonade, drive to any college within 15 minutes of my house, and have sex with barely legal teens. I could do that, but I don't want to. The last time I was into barely legal teens, they were older women. And I didn't want to jerk off to people who like were my mom's age. <laughs> I was really bad at estimating ages. <laughs> so, the porn I look at now are erotic comics. That part gets a laugh every time and it makes me sadder each time. <laughs> it's the erotic, or uh, the romance novel of my generation. I make sure I'm not on the work Wi-Fi because they track that shit. <laughs> we got LTE at work, fuck. Alright. <laughs> I read my one page, and I'm like, Woo! Oh! That's enough for me! I don't need to masturbate. Woo! That woman and robot love each other! <laughs> and their punk rock group is gonna work out! <laughs> Get me a Chardonnay and a Virginia Extra Slim 120 stack! <laughs> I'm Jeff Gongle. Yeah.